Yep. There it is. Ow. Holy crap, that hit so much harder than I thought it would. Hey everybody, Seven here. Thank you so much for joining me in the Oxbow. So, <laughs> when we left the fall, hey, oh, it was in tight. Yeah, it's winter. That happens. When we left the fall, I had negligible work done on the town. Uh, only threw up a couple of houses here so we can get some people in. We're gonna need those people ASAP. And we also left with that frickin' punk-ass kid that I can't stand. He's got something going on. He is absolutely 100% going to set me up for failure. So let's take a look over at the little encampment over there. Was super bummed to find that there was um, only three people. I was definitely expecting a, a five, full complement of five. But we'll check some of those people over there, see if we can get them to work while the season is going. Um, I'm probably not going to run around too crazy much with, you know, going to all these towns. I really am super excited to get into whatever this kid's got going on. Oh, holy Christmas. Okay, so I saw that there was an update. Okay, we're going to have to make a video about this now, uh, too. So I saw that there was an update and I said, okay, crossplay. Okay, cool. That means that, you know, Xbox, PlayStation, and Steam people can all play with each other. Even uh, the GOG people can play together. This... Holy, holy crap. This is an absolute game changer because this is going to make the Herbalist Hut just so, so viable. Holy crap. Is it like that for everybody? It is too. So you can actually change what they're going to work on in each season. This is nuts. Oh, this is cool. Oh, look at all of this. Yeah, so you can adjust what they're going to work on what they'll ignore in this season or that season. Oh, oh, so this also means that wood sheds. Oh, winter's coming. Crank up the firewood a little bit higher. Drop your logs and planks. Maybe we uh, don't do construction projects. And then here comes spring and summer. You drop the firewood down to negligible amounts. Crank the logs and planks, and that's when you do all your building. Oh, this is amazing. Oh, this had so much more in it than just crossplay. Well, you know what they say, reading patch notes is, uh, it burns calories and makes you more attractive. Uh, but anyway, we wanted a hunter and we wanted, um, production, I think? Alright, a male hunter and anybody for, uh, production. That's what we want right this second. Oh, uh, we do need an extraction at some point too, though. Oh, man, farm and survival? Oh, and I can hear the bell. I can hear the bell from here. I heard they also did, um sound updates as well and the bards the bards are now in the taverns i can't wait to see I'm this little band traveler, oh rest of me are all right level three production so we needed the male hunt which that's not you and we needed anybody for production oh and you're work for food and water and some firewood <laughs> Over my head, of course. I, I love that line. Damn. That's probably my favorite line. All right, so let me uh, let me monkey around with this new interface, and we're gonna get the blacksmiths to change over to the copper age, and then we'll get the extraction shed to adjust its intake and everything, we'll, and we'll try to balance out the uh, the stick and log intake and all that. All right, let me let me get a sec. Hang on. Okay, so one minor minor complaint that I would have. I don't see any kind of like copy and paste button. You know, as, as awesome as this is for the herbalist hut, like, oh my god, you can you can set them to ignore this plant because it's out of season and, you know, stop making that potion because you're not going to have the materials for it or whatever. That's incredible and something that people have wanted for geez, a couple of years now. For most of the buildings, they are going to actually be just the, the samey sames, you know, all, all year round, all year in and out, they're going to be the same. Maybe you're going to want to micromanage your, um, your woodshed a little bit. You're definitely going to want to micromanage your herbalist hut, but things like the kitchen, 
or the smithies, they're going to be doing the same thing year round. So having a, a copy paste would be kind of cool, but eh, I guess not not completely necessary. All right, so you're making 18 a day and you're requiring 37. Holy crap. OK, so we are going to actually profit on the copper bars then. God, I got to get this. <laughs> I got to get this town self-reliant so I can go off and adventure. Alrighty, so after all that fiddle farting around I've got, this guy is basically just supplying the um, the blacksmith. Got just enough logs coming in, just enough sticks coming in, so this smithy down here is going to be set for whatever resource they're going to need. The other smithy is going to be able to smelt, assuming we can extract enough copper, he'll be able to smelt, get everything that the other smithy needs to make everything. And our secondary woodshed is just building materials at this point. So building materials, firewood, we should be drowning in firewood at this point, even though it says we have less wood than our demand. That's that's going to change real fast, hopefully. Also, we're out of water. No, water's fine. Never mind. I thought this is 74, not 740. OK, <laughs> food is bad. And we also just added another mouth to feed that's not a food producer. That's going to be an issue. All right, cool. I just grilled up a whole bunch of stuff. So obviously the grilled meat is worth a lot more food value than the uh, the raw meat. Man, we have got to get another. Uh, we've got to get another hunter and we've got to get another cook. Yeah, we're going to need farmers, you know, because we're going to want breads and we're going to get, you know, the things that are going to be more reliable, more sustainable numbers wise. But as it stands right now, I'm not sure if I'm comfortable leaving this town to its own devices here. Oh, OK. We we need more extraction as well, because just the one smelting smithy in order to keep up with what he's doing needs 37 a day and they're going to max out at 31. And that would also be getting zero stones for my own construction, zero stones for the stone pickaxes, no limestone for insulation. Uh, this this is a problem. All right, as bad as I'm chomping at the bit to see what this kid's got railroaded for me here, we, we got to get some people. And I've only got the two houses left. Crap, all right. <laughs> I've got, I've got two houses left, and I've definitely got more than two people's worth of problems right now. Need hunter, need cook, but also apparently need another excavation shed because the copper's not moving in nearly the numbers that we needed to. Uh, where's the where's the wagon guy? All right, let's just track this guy down. I wonder if the I wonder if we'll see the band. I I I, I didn't fully get into it, so I don't know if it's a. Uh, an anytime thing, a random time thing, or if it's um, yeah, maybe a, a, a night only type of spawn. Dying to see this. There's a ton of new music uh, that came in as well. Hi, uh, take me to wherever the cheapest is. Killer. Uh, I was talking about in the valley at one point how it'd be neat if, you know, like how Rolnica is a major farming town, if the townsfolk that are there would be more farm centered and oriented and to the best of my knowledge i don't think anything like that has ever been implemented so i don't think it's going to St what'd you say stairs what i'm definitely gonna have to oh stick okay never mind i thought i thought the a prompt had come up on the stairs because i do know that a lot of uh doodads and construction type stuff has been implemented and we now have access to uh, a lot more just decorative type things and bridges bridges are now in play from what i understand no hunt Is this new village three hunts thank you oh wait crap we needed a male hunter like it had to be specifically a male one didn't it nope you're a blockhead perfect hi how can i help you spectacular we're gonna need you to uh save our town all right so she'll be set we're going to have a ton more raw meat coming in. In fact, I think we've already, just with the three that we had, I think we had more raw meat coming in than what the cook we had could roast. So we are going to need that production guy now. No, I stand correct. We need a uh, production lady now, which... Oh, crap. I'm trying to think of the three that were back at our hometown. You're a one. 
Oh. Well. Hmm. I'm trying to think, because I, I, I did see a lady that was several threes. I'm going to roll the dice. I'm going to go home and I'm going to see if uh, one of those ladies that's back at uh, our place has a three production. And then hopefully we'll finally get out of here and... I'm nervous, but at the same time, I'm super excited. Because I know this kid's going to pull the rug out from underneath us. I just don't know how. But no matter what he's got in store, I have a strong feeling that that crossbow is going to be coming in handy today. All right, now, if I remember correctly, one of you two is really good. Uh, oh, we've got two threes, but not the threes I need. That's the one. Oh, it's you again. It is me again, and it's you two. Oh my god, well, I'm a moron. I didn't actually need that person. Uh, idiot, idiot, idiot. One of the updates, I think it was actually the update that introduced the Oxbow, they they really dramatically altered the way that like fishing huts and hunting lodges and stuff like that operated. They get far, far less meat now. So this thing's only bringing in nine a day. And that means that <laughs> this one kitchen alone can outpace that. In fact, when I went to go start altering things, I noticed that uh, it, this guy was already at like 40, 50 something percent. All right, so set you right around 18. I guess just maintain it across the season until I fix this problem. Um, as for the cook that we just just picked up and is doing literally nothing now, does somebody remind me to start a farm this season? Spring's coming. That's really important. All right, punk. Show me what you got. All right, you bastard. What are we doing? I promised Derwin to escort you to the meeting place. We have some goods to retrieve. Oh, you actually were expecting me. Let's get done with it. Why are you sneezing? I wish I could research there are maybe make a plan to get them behind the walls unnoticed. This is suspicious. All of this is suspicious. I'm gonna ignore that for now. Yeah, let's let's just get to work. Take me to the meeting place. Oh, you! I don't think I've ever seen you move in such a hurry. I was hoping for some former fiercest. Wait a minute! You wanted him to punish you? Also, this is a, a a conversation I do wish would be voice acted. They did say that they were adding a ton more voices into it. Ensuring the families bury the hatchet. Yeah, because oh, farmers survived the hoe. They're friends. Yeah, they were friends until you got in and wrecked everything, you asshat. Have no dig. No, you're the one with no dignity. Oh, crap. Is this what we were supposed to be after? Uh, ha hang on. One, one sec, kid. Th this is all money, and I'm gonna need money for, um... Well, for fast traveling so that I can get more recruits, because clearly I'm going to be in trouble. No dignity. Yeah, you, you took off like a shot. My head hurts, cuffs killing me. I'm going back to my... I knew it. If I had offered you to stay, you probably would have said yes. I'm getting set up, aren't I? But that was just scare off our smuggling savior. I'll, I'll play it cool with him for now. Yeah. Go home and rest. We're not lo- Oh, right. Every time you, uh... Every time you holster it, you're not loaded. Get the supplies from the meeting place. Yep. There it is. Ow! Holy crap, that hit so much harder than I thought it would have. Okay, the update also had, um, squad tactics and more intelligent bandits, and I think they also chase you for longer. You guys still on me? Yeah, you're still on me. Okay. This is going to be a protracted fight, I think. All right, what about the bridge? Maybe we can funnel him. All right, we've got a spear chucker. We've got an axe. We've got a bow. Man, he is engaging from a distance, too. Crap, that was not good. All right, can you bastard swim? 
Where'd you go? Okay. Still got angry music. Damn it, kid. Who huh. didn't see that one coming? All right. Miss. They will also engage um, the animals now, too. Hold still. Nice. Yeah, so they'll engage animals, and they'll also, from what I understand, uh, like actually take on the animals. So, I was actually talking with, uh, with Sea Dog and some people on Discord, like, oh, could, could leading them into, like, a wolf pack or something be a tactic? Where are you going? You're still, oh, sh wow, okay. That was clever. I mean, I don't know how much logical sense it would have made in real life for you to have done that, but I mean, usually in a fight you'd run, well, yeah, why would you run straight at somebody with a crossbow? You'd give them an easy shot, which is what I was hoping for. Ow, ow, ow. Wait, where the hell did that archer come from? Cause it doesn't look like he was back at camp. Did they spread out? I don't know, man, that, that arrow came from a different direction. That felt like it came from up here somewhere. There we go. I lost him in the trees. One of them's sitting down again. One of them I think I lost in a tree line, I'm not sure. One of them's walking around. Okay, you're both sitting. I think there's still three of you, though. I blew it on the arrow drop. Crossbow drops a lot less than... Nice hit. Oh, your buddy didn't even notice. Yeah, crossbow drops a lot less than... The, the bow bow does. The regular bow. But it's still an adjustment. Okay. I'm not sure if we've got that archer. We clear? Everybody down? Ooh, that. Even being fully prepped and completely expect. Oh, jeez. <laughs> the the quest update just terrified the hell out of me. Man, even being completely prepared and expecting that. Wow, that was uh. That was intense for a sec. Also, is it getting dark already? Holy crap, that took all day. Uh, nothing searchable. Nothing searchable. I think it's just a compost box anyway. It was literally just a shovel. Alright, locate the supplies. Abandoned supplies. No. Stuff. I'm assuming that that's that. We'll have to see if there's anything else worthwhile lying around here. Nah. This might actually this might be a spot that I've already raided. Oh, actual wine, not just empty bottle. Fifty-seven bucks. Cause that can't be. Oh, more money and gifts though. All right, so that wasn't the supplies. So what are we looking at here, then? Oh. <laughs> oh, this is nice stuff. Okay. Oh, crappy bow. Probably just sell that. Oh. Oh, somebody's been busy. Oh, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Better axe. Oh, man, nice. Okay, we're getting some good stuff here. And there's the actual missing supplies. Okay. Some of packages lined your feet. Together with barrels standing just between them. Okay. Let's take a look closer look. This is the Carwin. The uh, Carwin. This is the cargo Derwin wished to smuggle into the town. Packages, barrels, baskets, sold stinking food instead of useful goods. Bandits must use them for dumping their wasted food and other garbage. Great. 
What object seems to be a crumpled piece of parchment. Alright. The dirty piece is actually a list of supplies. Mostly blacksmithing tools and metals, but also seeds, dried meat, other stuff. Certainly the delivery must have been much larger than the small pile of containers scattered around the wood mill. Alright. Bandits must have sold the goods or used them for their own purposes. And quartermaster must be informed of it. Not a snowball's chance in hell do I not believe that that kid was, if not directly responsible, at least partially involved in this. But on the upside, we've got a ton of stuff to sell off now. Oh man, we're gonna need we're gonna need more buildings. What the hell is this? Okay, none of this is searchable. Hmm. That looks bandit e. Oh, well, it's right outside of town, so maybe not. It also looks like it could be a, a campfire people location, but they're way the hell on the other side of town. All right, let's uh, let's get with the quartermaster here real quick. Also, what is going on with the sky? Well, okay, it's not late, late. I don't know, the ambient lighting is really dark, but the sky seems really bright for some reason. I might have to mess with my visuals for a sec. Hey, my man, we gotta talk. How did the exchange go? Uh, there were bandits in the meeting place, and pretty much everything's gone. Yeah, many craftsmen counted on that delivery. It's devastating news. I'm sure no one knew about the meeting place. Where's Lubos? There we go. Now we're asking the important questions. He almost made his band. Um. Yeah, we'll just cut straight beyond. Yeah, he's sick to the best of what I can expect. He went back to his house when we were halfway to the trading place. Wait, he was carrying coins for the middleman. Um, he didn't say anything about coins, pal. This didn't fall into bandit's dirty hands. It's so small comfort compared to the fact that we were robbed. We, yeah, we won't make stuff out of coins. Well, maybe the boy had something to do with that. I'm asking the same question. I doubt you were so stupid as to plot behind my back and lie to my face. Wait, Derwin, my man. Come on, I've been cutting straight with you since the day you met me. Give me a while to think. I mean, then go to the blacksmith and form that the delivery of forging goods and tools will be delayed a lot. He was eagerly waiting for more working materials. Yeah, I hate bringing only disappointment to people. Seems like I've been doing a lot of that lately. Now let's uh, finish up this leg and then we'll run home and... Oh man, I, I really gotta think about what I need to build first. Because we also have every house is now full. Why the serious look? Well, I bring bad news from Derwin. The promised goods, including the smithing ones, were stolen. Who called himself Sparrow? <laughs> I love all the the real world fourth wall references they make. Well, we were told to retrieve them at a selected meeting place, but we got encountered by bandits and empty containers. That's some strange stuff you're saying. Piastovia's market was recently flooded with new goods. Matched the ones promised by our quartermaster. Well, a shadow of a doubt, I was expecting to get them personally rather than fighting for my share in the market square. I lost more coin than I wished to, but at least I finally can get to work. Oh. How'd oh, they, yeah, they get there so fast? Yeah, someone's trading with the bandits right under our nose. If that's the only way, then why not? These are harsh times. I was sure delivery was done under Derwin's watch. His apprentice boy was hanging around the stock that day. I'm gonna set this kid on fire. No! No! Actually, he's fully predictable. I saw this cub in last season. This was not a surprise to me. Why do you think I had two crossbows and like 50 bolts? And a hundred million plantain. Unpredictable. Durbin's getting old. He can't handle his apprentice. And it's the first time the resource flow got out of his control. 
Doesn't seem promising to me. Listen, listen, this is an extenuating circumstance. This is not him getting old. This is, he's trying to raise Satan's spawn over here. Thank you for your observations. I'll warn Derwin. Oh, this is really cutting into build time. Day one is already gone. Hey, Derwin. You hope he handled the news well. Yeah, they're already in town. They've been distributed and had to get paid for, not just, you know, given like they were expected to be. How come you and Lubos were the only ones who knew about the meeting? Well, that's your answer, Lubos. Another question is, why did he walk me right into the bandit's hands? I gave him the coins a few days earlier. He must have made the deal earlier than alone. He tricked me and betrayed me. Yes, he did. <laughs> uh, yeah, don't forget, he also tried to have me killed in the process. Oh, all three of these are great answers. Yeah, it turned everything into chaos like he always does. And made profits. Over time, I became a very tolerant and forgiving person. But it didn't change my core. I will never stomach traitors. They disgust me. I've even seen some gruesome crimes during my service in my war band. But the most discouraging and condemned of all was treason. Well, he has finally woken the side that he was looking to get. Finally got what he deserved. You let him slide out of trouble too many times. You're finally making some sense. Yeah, yeah, let's see how he reacts to this when he sees that Lubos was actually trying to incite this. I won't give him the satisfaction of putting me off balance. Oh, nice. You're still going to take the high road. You're not going to beat the tar out of him. You're just going to, well, bye. You're just going to kick him out of town, aren't you? I can see the storage of my own eyes. It's next to my house. Lead the way. Man, you gotta, you gotta appreciate, look at this. If I walk, he sort of jogs. If I sprint, he sprints. How fantastic is it? We'll get to that in a sec. Everything is under control. Oh my. Early than expected. And more expensive than expected. Of course, as far as I know, each of the items reached the storage safely. I handled it myself. I was overlooked by the Castellan and distributed the priest for proper pri Oh my god. I notified this betrayal of your own master. Sure is, pal. Gave the chance to acquire them to all who were interested. You... You have time to oversee your own... Oh my god, this kid. Yeah, he knows the people needs more than anyone in the town. Such so was... a smile and gratitude don't need enough, or do you need to take further favors from your neighbors? from anyone, but I can't be in all places at once. That's why I need enough. Yeah, you were hired on because he's busy. He needed to trust someone. Yeah, delivery boy, that's all you could offer. Learn how to fight, survive. Oh my god, no. You never suggested that. You never bothered to say what you feel and expect of me. You remind me of my father, full of mischief, but he knew the value and loyalty of brotherhood. If you cared about him so much, why'd you let him die? You sent him to a certain death. Oh, Lubos, you're such a bastard. Yes, her ambush was risky and loss is inevitable. What I did not realize was a death sentence for, for us all and for your father. He would walk through every fire with me. During his wish was his last wish before he passed away. He asked me to take care of his son and if he needed help. I did my part and consider my vow filled. From now on, I work alone. You're free to go. Yeah. Don't let the door hit you. Nope. You wanted the wrath. No, this is ten times worse than wrath. This is I'm done. Well, you did 100% of this to yourself. Everything is your fault. What do you have to say for yourself? Yeah, looks like you survived your encounter with the bandits. I'm gonna shave your face. Yeah, and it looks like you uh, recovered to full strength after your mysterious illness. Aw, you lost your job. 
But you, that's impressive. There's more to you than just a farmer and a hunter after all. Yeah, don't... Don't get me twisted, my man. You got away with your wrongdoing one last time. What now? You call yourself lucky. You know, you can call yourself lucky that Derwin stayed calm and stepped away. No, that wasn't luck. That was all Derwin. He could have beat you within an inch of his life, but... Nah. Well, you got away with it one last time. What are you doing now? I don't know. You came here to learn about military life. That's not why you were here. <laughs> you were here to learn responsibility and to grow the hell up. Darren was the only way I could get a glimpse of that, but he didn't want to share anything. <laughs> wow, you paid so little attention. He was deliberately trying to get you a better life, not the life that he had. I don't respect the man. I thought he was testing me with all those dull tasks. I returned the favor and tested his patience, hoping to see some of that old vicious war. You did all this intentionally. No, I have no sympathy for him. Yeah, definitely not a sign of weakness to ask questions. But uh, to go astray. Yeah, controlling one's feelings is the basic quality of a soldier. Durin is a good example, and that's a damn good lesson for you. Always bug me. You never... Never know what he might be hiding beneath his stoic appearance. His patience is almost provoking. Makes me wonder how much Derwin and my father were alike. Could a mindless killer following orders have a soft side? A thought that made you weak. He was not a mindless killer. You're an idiot. Alright, kid, you know what? You want a redemption arc? Here's your shot. This land needs capable men to defend it. Stay if you'd like, but remember, Derwin's special treatment in view is over. I don't need favorable treatment from you. Require re favorable treatment from people. You require to be uh, insulated and protected. <laughs> I heard the bandit crisis is getting worse. Maybe I'll have a chance to prove myself here after all. You're an idiot. Well, you're making some progress at least. If you want Derwin to share some stories of the past, stick to this path and you'll earn it. We'll see about that. I'm glad I didn't lead you to death after all. <laughs> The most decent, that's the only decent thing you've said to me. All right, kid, be well. I'm sure this is not the last I'm gonna see of you. Uh, Derwin, sorry for coming at this hour and I know you're asleep, but I also know that I can wake you up in the middle of a quest. I talked with Lubos. He's decided to stay in Piastovia. I was pretty sure he was fed up with our community. It seems he's grown accustomed to comfy town life after all. Let's hope he doesn't disturb me. I hear you, my man. That may be the truth, since he declared to defend Piastovia if it's ever in danger. He has no idea about discipline or following orders. He's got some vigor and determination, but his impulsiveness will doom him before he strikes the first blow. Well, you're certainly not bound to him anymore, but you could at least keep an eye on him. If he stays, he'll be one of our people. I don't exclude anyone when it comes to our town's community's matters. Now I'd better get back to my... <laughs> I better get back to bed. Thank you for all your help. I unknowingly got you involved in such a complicated matter. Yeah, yeah, I got shot at, by the way. Like, everybody seems to be kind of glossing over the fact that I got shot at, like, a lot. I'm grateful for your patience. Be well. <laughs> Those who make no mistakes learn nothing. Boy, that kind of rings a little personal for me myself, but... I'm always eager to help those in need. Take care of you both. Oh my god, the sun's coming up. What are we doing for the pittance of time that we now have remaining in the season? Oh my. Yeah, it's 4 a.m. People are going to be starting to get up soon. Okay, list the problems first, then prioritize them. Not enough copper coming in. Enough copper being smelted, not enough copper raw coming in. Plenty of stuff to cook, not enough meat coming in. So basically, two of the same problem. Not enough materials, too much processing. We have zero houses. Well, zero free houses. Okay, minimum two houses, another hunting lodge, another excavation shed. Now, preferably four houses, one hunting lodge, one excavation shed. But that's gonna be a little bit. Um, how are we looking at survival technology? Because hunting lodge two. Oh, hell. Oh, because, right. So because the the meat is coming in less, we're getting less technology points passively. 
So because these guys are only getting nine and a half a day. Yeah, that's going to make our technology crawl. I mean, it's going to start flying once those guys get to, you know, level five, level eight, level whatever. Okay, we need a solution for this town. Yes, we want to farm. Oh, crap, we want to farm too. Where the hell am I even going to put that? I mean, here or possibly here. I'd, I'd like some flatter ground. This looks pretty okay. It'd be cool because it'd be nearish the residentials, also near, you know, the, the town central. It'd also be away from that bear, so I don't have to be worrying about laying down farm field. Also, that that hill sucks. Oh yeah, that that hill is not good. This whole hill is probably useful, like this hill over here and that field area over there. Real concerned about these rocks, though. Yeah, these aren't... These aren't decorative. These are actual... You can swing a pickaxe at them. Nine times out of ten, those are rocks that you can't get rid of. Like this kind... Okay, no, that's still a, a pickaxe rock. Um, there are like little bouldery type stuff that won't have the pickaxe prompt. And you'll usually be able to slap a road down over the top of it or something like that, and, and it'll delete that. I got some serious concerns over how much can get deleted up here. All right, too much jibba jab, sun's up, we gotta get to work. All right, now thankfully I did find all that cheese and onions and whatever else was in there, hodgepodge stuff. That will keep us yeah, it's 468. Okay. Also, wood was below our demand, but we are climbing. So wood is fine. Water is just going to be manually on me for a little bit. We got to get this food situation taken care of, though. Oh, crap. I also just realized I completely forgot to sell off anything. Most of the stuff I have is not worth a whole ton of money. There are some, uh, some bottles and wines and stuff, but... Most of it's not a ton, ton of weight or a ton of money, but it is, it is space. And right now, we're going to need every single ounce that this guy can carry. We have so much work to do. That still throws me. Like when, when they change songs, it, it has a very abrupt intro, it seems. All right, 6 a.m. There should be enough people up. I kind of expected that at 6 a.m. people would be up. But no, you're actually just stuck. You you fell and... Oh my god, everybody's still in bed? Oh, okay. Everybody's in bed. I, I have noticed various hiccups both here and in... Um, wait a minute, good street. No, the, the gift trader isn't a special person anymore. They're just a person that hangs out in town. Yeah, crap. I'm really hoping I'm not going to have a, a glitch for the season. Because I've noticed, um, I noticed a couple of times in the valley, if you were hanging around town at like the wrong hour, everybody seemed to go to bed, but then <laughs> never wake up. So I'm just very, very much hoping that that's not going to be the case here. All right, just dumped off in my... <laughs> Me too. I'm I'm thrilled to have you. All right, so tossed all the stuff that was either going to be for sale or for combat reasons. Tossed all that into my chest. I'll just split up what's going to be for sale and what I'm keeping later on. Uh, but for right now, okay, building. Seriously, this time, building. Um. Also, that beetroot thing, that's not a throwaway. That's an actual job. Like like a main a main one. Yeah, story quests. Interesting. I I was sleeping on that and making that a back burner issue, but okay. All right, I'm gonna need to be responsible for the entirety of the stones for every project <laughs> because the both the extraction sheds are completely shut off of stone. <laughs> this is gonna be a headache.
<laughs> well, I absolutely can't stand this foundation, but if we're going to continue to build on this side of the of uh, yeah of the street, then we're going to need yeah. All right. Well, I'm going to get to work, and I will fast forward and show you just how much I can actually get done here. All right. I'll see you in a bit, guys. Okay. Well, good morning, everyone. <laughs> Barely. It's about 3.30 in the morning, and it took me the entire time just to put up two houses. So I'm starting to realize my location is a real catch-22 and, and a real pro-con kind of thing. So we've got, obviously, immediate access to the main central hub town here, and we've also got okay access to, you know, to the other ones here, relatively close. Third Town's a bit of a jaunt away, but not too terrible. So, as far as quest line and story progression, as well as if we need to get side jobs for extra dynasty, location's really good. However, resource-wise, this place absolutely sucks. Everything here is a birch tree. Occasionally, you'll find some spruce trees. Finding maple out this way is exceptionally rare. Also, I did actually get a, um, a pickaxe, and started mining up some of the stone deposits that were out there. I was getting two here, four there, three here. It was completely not conducive to the amount of stamina that I was using, also the amount of time that I was using. So I real quick abandoned the idea that I was gonna pickaxe my way to putting up walls. And I'm also not abandoning the idea of everything's gonna be a stone wall because we're gonna want these lumberjacks to be focused on getting me more materials, not providing the firewood. Now, as much as this is going to suck because I know this is going to be an outdated building <laughs> sooner than later, we're just going to slap this thing down. Ideally, we'll get we'll get the XP that we need. Well, not the XP, the technology that we need. We'll hopefully get that running real, real fast. And basically just sack this, tear it down, make that a two, and then we'll have four people in one building. I mean, that's the, that's the dream and the plan, at least. Uh, but speaking of XP, we did actually get some XP, and we've got a level in survival and a level in extraction. So the points I spent was I maxed out the mule, and for the survival point, we've got one more into less damage received. The bandits are smarter, the tactics are better, their weaponry is already way better. So if I'm going to want to survive any kind of encounters out there, the wildlife is also smarter as well. So every threat to your, <laughs> your life and well-being is bigger and better. So if we're going to be uh, moving forward with any of the combat that's going on here, we're definitely going to need to get more reliable with our uh, ability to keep ourselves alive. I was really hoping this was going to go there, and that's an absolute no-go. I'm sure there's no way in hell it's going over here either. You say obstacles, but I'm thinking you're probably saying water. Yeah, okay, water. Oh, right, because this is the one that it needs to be built, like, really far back away from roads for some reason. All right, well, this is also another just means-to-an-end type building. Ideally, once we get the mines, we won't need... Well, we don't need either one of them. Well, no, we might. Mines can't get limestone, wall, or clay. I don't foresee us needing clay, but we will probably need a good chunk of limestone going forward. All right, let's get uh, let's get those logs moving as best we can here. We'll get the two job site buildings put up, and then we'll go get the last two people that we're gonna get. Well, the last two people we're gonna get this season, because this season has blown. Wow. That was some serious Valheim right there. I... I thought you were going that way. Sheesh, thank God for an extra 20% less damage or whatever. Oh, here's a fu another fun little thing that I found in, uh... Well, basically, uh, what came through with the update. Are you a fox or a wolf? No, you're a fox. 
Uh, but another fun little thing that I found was the the flag. Like when it flags for you're out of this or you're, you're out of uh, resources or somebody in the town can't do their job. That thing actually has a little bit of a tone now. And sometimes it sounded a little bit like a like a chime. And other times it sounded kind of like a little bit of a, a fife uh, flute whistle kind of a thing. So it was it was neat. I was like, what, what the hell am I hearing? And then I, I actually, you know, sort of dawned on me, oh, it's it's the flag like the, that has a noise now and an actual uh, an indicator that you can hear. That is a very welcome addition too. I can't tell you how many times I got out, you know, just busy doing something, working a field or out doing a mission, you know, doing something for some of the townsfolk or whatever, and then all of a sudden I look up and I'm like, what do you mean we're flagging for six? So that's, uh, that's been a thing that I felt was always very easy to miss. Oh crap, I left my knife at home. What? Oh, nope, 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 nope. I did not realize how much I was encroaching on your territory. You, uh, you leave me? Damn it, bear. <laughs> You've got three log trees up there. And I'm... Did you just get sucked through the floor? That was an interesting reset. I don't think I've ever witnessed it firsthand before. But look, man, all of my trees are two logs, and you've got three logs. I'm going to have to find a way of putting something there. Because that guy is really in a major pain location. Also, I'm dying to get into there to see what's in that cave. Is that just a, a cave, or is it a mine? Because if I could get a mine right out back here like that. I mean, it's not necessary, not, um, like, mechanically necessary, because the miners are still one of those, uh, one of the professions that doesn't need their distance. You know, they're not like the, uh, the farmers, where they have to physically get to where they need to be in order to start work. But aesthetically, yeah, it'd be a, a really cool layout of the town if they could just walk upstream. Good lord, what... What's with the rabbit massacre out here? I mean, not that I'm complaining. I'll take all this free rabbit meat. I mean, we are still in a situation where we kind of can't feed ourselves. Also, with that regard, uh, I don't, I don't know as though the farm's going to be starting right now. I wanted to have it put down and laid out before spring, but then I was also thinking, well, it's not like there's anything we can plant right now. Like, I wanted it set and ready to be planted in the spring. At the same time, as that's going to be a building and several decent-sized fields I'm imagining I'm going to want. All of that is going to be taxes. You know, so we just put up... We put up several houses here, and two more... Good lord! We put up several houses, you know, two uh, last season and two this season. Plus, I think the smithy was... Well, definitely since the last time we paid taxes. And we're going to be getting an additional extraction shed and an additional hunting shed, so... There's going to be a good chunk of taxes that we're going to have come due... <laughs> tomorrow. Alright, I'm hoping between what I've got going on here and what these guys are going to be bringing in... All this stuff is made out of, you know, sticks and logs and that kind of crap. It's not, it's not an actual house, so... I should have the resources to slap everything together, I think. And excavation shed done. Outstanding. Stuck the chest. Okay, so we got the two houses, we got the two job sites. Uh, we also got technology. Technology that I am unfortunately definitely not using. I'm not gonna get into flax, at least not yet. You know. In the valley, yes. Here, I'd question that. But yeah, I'm not going to be messing with um, extraneous type resources just yet. Not when we can't freaking feed ourselves. Alright, so let's rush over here. 
we'll grab up all of whatever kind of sellable type stuff that I might want to get rid of. And we, we need to find the two townsfolk that we need. And, you know, actually, if everybody is um up and Adam and ready to go up in here, then I'd actually kind of like to see if I can just purchase outright the 70 beat root. Alright, are either one of you a level 3 hunter or a level 3 extraction to begin with? You are a level 3 extraction. We need to do the numbers on that. I'm not superstitious. You are... But I'm a okay. little stitious. Hmm. Alright. Let me see what the balance on our extraction is. Okay, so we can take anybody. So, we'll take a guy. Okay, so the smithy needs 40 and a half a day. And then between these two guys, we've got coming in 31, 41, perfect. So we'll just ever so barely be getting over on the copper ore. No sweat, not a weight concern, I don't think. <laughs> At least not yet. Uh, now we need a hunter though. And fortunately, we can take either one that we want on that too. It's nice not having any, uh, like, gender requirements or anything for it. We just take anybody who's qualified. Um, are all you guys up at- yes, you are, thank god. Um, is that icon an herbalist or a farmer? How is life? Herbalist. Well, whatever. You all buy. Alright, well, that was a good chunk of cash. Um, 1500 bucks, not bad. Wait, are you- How do you do? Oh, wait a minute. Oh, frick. You want 70. Yeah, okay. I'd have to hit multiple towns just to have... Oh, nuts. Okay. Wait a minute. Are there even retailers in other towns? I know this one has, like, everything. Uh, hey, does the old where do, can I find thing work? I Piastovia. Oh no! Okay. See you around. Well, Rick. If I remember correctly, I think this one had. No, this is the one that had fishing in it. That was where the boy in the bucket was, and they did have. It was kind of like a, like a Jazerica kind of a town. All right, we're gonna have to pay some cash, get some traveling going. Do we go to Skokie again? Because I don't remember oh, who yeah. else was there. Actually, I think, yeah, both of the... There should be, what, two ladies down there, and I don't think either one of them was much to write home about. Uh, you know what? All right, let's, uh... Let's hit Klonica, then. Of course, it's the most expensive one. Yes. tight. Oh, jeez, the bells are ringing. It's ten minutes to five. This is not good. Uh, what do we have? Got an... We've got a, uh, we've got a hunter here that we can buy stuff off of. Wow, there's people sunk in the floor. That's an uncommon one for this, this game. That, that actually generally does not happen here. Who are you? Hello, traveler. Oh, this might... Actually, you know what? I don't think there's anything that's, uh, stopped me at the end of season. At least not yet. Stupid hunters, they treat me like a child. Well, you're 15, kid. <laughs> because you're very young. <laughs> Alright, let me play to the kid. Oh, yeah, stupid hunters. Why, why are we insulting them again? They want to teach me how to protect my bees. It, wh why do you need to... Why do your bees need protecting? And what do the hunters have to do with anything? Oh, okay. Bear footprints found around your honey. Okay, yeah. Should've done it's gonna come up to my bees and steal their honey, destroy their homes. Kill the queen and every man on its way. Her scenes went dedicated well. Yeah, there's so much more than bugs. I <laughs> can't do exactly where you're going with that one. If only there was, if only people were as organized, disciplined, and hardworking, the world would be a better place. Yeah, yeah, but what exactly would you like to learn? How to shoot a bow? Talk to Sabor and convince him to, that I'm old enough. I was thinking about asking Slava, she's one of the best archers, but, afraid of, but I'm afraid of her. I can certainly try. Um... Oh, that's actually a story quest. Well, as long as it's a story quest, it means it's not any time limit. Which is awesome, because the sun's going down, and I'm looking for people. 
the way some of these new towns are laid out, it, it actually does make it quite a bit more of a challenge to find where the, that's a bandit camp, uh, to find where the campfire people are stationed. There we go. Because they kind of like kicked him out of town. Like they, I heard some of them mention like, oh, it's like the townsfolk have something against us or resent us or something. But uh, they, they really have done a number of kicking you guys way out of town. Your setup's a lot nicer, but you guys used to be in the village. Level three extraction. That's a, oh, that's such a bandit right there. Um, all very well, but I would love to finally put down roots. Ah, uh, well, you're a level three female extraction, and I'm very tempted to pick you up. Um, crap. There's no hunters here at all. Um, what are you? You're not drawing. Who? Who the hell are you? Hello there. Oh, you're Good just luck. some random hunter. Okay, listen, we gotta focus. The end of the day and the end of the season and the end of the episode are rapidly approaching. And uh, there, there's there's another person that is critically required right now. All right, we're just shy of 1300 bucks. Oh, thought maybe I could interact with that. Stop getting distracted. We want that beetroot too. All right, let's, um. Let's head to Skaki. Do do? I don't think we're going to find the person we're looking for. We might be able to find the vendor we're looking for. Okay, we need a hunter. Oh my god. I want... That sounds incredibly familiar. This is really familiar. Have I heard that somewhere? Was that How copyright? Is this something I'm going to need to watch for? There was this guy <laughs> the Jack Sparrow thing. Uh, I really hope that I actually was paying attention and I can have either Hunter. Yeah, if it's two and two, then we definitely have... Okay, we're fine. Oh man, now, I know it's only one guy, but four and a half meat a day is really, really depressing and concerning. Uh, where, where is town? Actual town. This way. All right, so I'm seeing a blacksmith. There's a cook. Oh, crap. There might have been a cook in, uh, Piastovia, too. Where? Oh, you're actually at work still. Killer. How are you? Uh, beetroot. Not Get the best. Have a nice day. Oh, we're not even halfway there. Okay, um... Well, might as well. How do you do? Uh... <laughs> Well, do you need anything, actually? Jim doesn't ask, usually I handle everything on my own, but I have a craving for to try something new. I have dealt with this before. Yeah, that's quite normal. What's, uh, what's your idea? Against the law. <laughs> Let's not jump to conclusions. It's quite mundane. You see, I'm hooked on the idea of drought carpentry. Work as a miner all day and a little time to Sometimes bear to gather idea. proper resources. What's in change? As if somebody paused what? it. Oh. God, the fourth wall breaks is so good. Once I had to repair a wooden beam in the mine, the material was so soft it didn't resist like the rock usually does. It was a nice change. That night I had a dream about making furniture. Um. Uh, yeah, I can see that you're really motivated. I'll help. I don't get wrong, I intend to work as a miner, but after hours I would like to cut and drill soft wood for a change. Who should provide me with the material so we could start making furniture? Or pay you an ore. Alright, yeah. I'll, I'll help you out, my man. Um, please don't be a end of season... Okay. Okay, good, good, good. Um, 8.30. Let's just run home. I completely forgot that cooks could sell... I don't know how I forgot that cooks could sell vegetables. Idiot. But maybe we can find a cook that's gonna sell... It's certainly not gonna sell, uh, 40 yeah. of them. But we can maybe get a handful? Assuming that not everybody has just immediately gone to bed. Alright, that's herbalist icon. Uh, bartender. Oh, there. Okay, there's some. Only the so long. And there should additionally be a cook as well, right? A farmer and a cook. Is that a no? I'm scanning the top here and I'm. I'm definitely not tracking a cook. But there's the building for it. I know that there's a, uh, a kitchen in this town, right? Uh, am I making shit up again? Yeah, right here. This is a kitchen. Um, 
I'm not going to do that. You know, I've talked to the person that was working there. I don't really remember if, uh... Hail, friend. Your own cards. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> See you soon. I actually, I actually really enjoyed that. Oh, wait, no, oh, you're the cook. You again. Wait, if you're the cook, then where's the farmer? Because this town should have one of everything. I thought, right? Did they do away with farmer retailers? Well, at the very least, we've got got the additional hunting and the additional, well, the additional uh, cooking that we didn't need. I actually just ran the numbers and ran the math. I've got the one kitchen is actually working at 100% right now, and they're probably going to outpace what the, uh, what three of them can handle. Oh, that was weird. Usually it's a, a hold type of thing. Man. I don't want to do my outro in the dark. Anyway, yeah, usually that... Oh! There's like a grill and stuff on it now, too. Man, this this update did a whole lot more than crossplay. Like, that's what they were billing it as, and, and uh, that's what they were, like, really primarily advertising for, uh, for the update, but... Yeah, there's new graphics, there's a ton of new AI going on. And new decorations. I gotta, I gotta check out these bridges now. Uh, but anyway, we've got the additional hunting. It's likely not going to be enough. We've got our wood situation squared away. Should have the metal situation squared away too. So we're going to be getting better production technology because we're into copper instead of stone everything. We're definitely going to need more people and we're going to need to get that farm started up. Uh, but the farm's going to have to start in the spring. We got that frickin' punk-ass kid taken care of, but... I would bet everything in Rasmir's pockets that that is definitely not going to be the last time we saw him. And we've got a whole lot of other, whole lot of other jobs to do. Although nothing here seems nearly as threatening as uh, as what we were just going through. Yeah, whole mess of logs and planks, cool deal. Just talk to somebody about teaching a girl how to be an archer. No sweat. And beetroot. So, eh. Spring won't be too bad. A little bit of busy work, and uh, we'll hopefully be able to focus on our actual town. Because, boy, howdy, does it need it. Oh, this place has been neglected so bad. But anyway, we had a very productive winter, and we'll uh, we'll get to not neglecting this town in the spring. Anyway, these are all spring issues, and hope to see you there. This is Seven. Good night, guys.